I got this. Uh, I got this in the mail today. Sponsored uh, by Pepsi because Aquafina is a Pepsi. You finally got a Pepsi. Um. Well, it, this is an Aquafina, but it's a Pepsi bottle. Sponsored by Pepsi. There we go. One day we'll be sponsored by Pepsi. Something that I ordered a few days ago. I'm all. What is the fuck? What is the fuck? What is? What the hell? What is this? Okay, they sent the right thing, but it said no, don't. I, it says clear cut three pack screen protector for Amazon Fire Kids Edition, seven inch, twenty fifteen lifetime replacement warranty, anti bubble, anti fingerprint, high definition, clear premium PET cover. That's like a that's cover not for the a thing. phone. That's not the thing that's in here. That's like a cover for a phone. I don't phone. know how to they open done. this though. Uh, you need my key or something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my pants are too tight. I gotta get into a weird position just to take my key out. Okay. What a nice phone cover this is. <laughs> Somebody messed up. <laughs> they met, like they sent me the right thing, which yeah. means that they sent the other person the right thing. But with mine, it says the other person's item is what I got. But I got my item. So that means that they probably got their item, but it says that they got a Dawn of the Dead number three comic. Which this is the third issue of the three issue Dawn of the Dead comic series. I was going to get the um, the the paperback edition that included all three issues, but instead I just decided because I already have issue one. It already came in the four disc DVD of Dawn of the Dead. I decided eh, I'll just get number two and number three separately. But number two is like $12 on eBay and this was like three so I was like, oh, I'll just stick with the third issue for now, and then eventually I'll get the second one, and I'll just read them all in one sitting. But yeah, it's it's really pretty. Miss Ava Moran, if you're watching this, if you're from New Jersey, <laughs> and you're missing your receipt for um, your clear-cut you screen really protector your for your Amazon Fire Kids Edition 7-inch 2015, let us know, and we'll ship you your receipt we'll COD or something. Figure something out. We'll figure something out. Just contact us. But and yeah, we're um, sorry for the confusion. It's really not our fault, but you know, I'm sorry anyway hey, at that, least that you happened. Got, at least you got your item. Yeah. And at least you're watching this video. <laughs> yeah. Probably with our receipt. Yeah. So, um, yeah, keep keep watching and we um, we will unbox our next box in this video. But we'll be wearing different shirts because we're going to be splicing it in. <clears throat> okay, so I just got another package in the mail. Uh, I really don't like these weird bubbly things. This is the novelization of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, and it is pretty long. Uh, 400 and, whoa, 405, no, 408 pages. I got this from Amazon. I've been wanting this for a while now. Uh, I remember seeing it in, um, Books A Million and stuff when I was, like, 13 or so, but I never thought to get it, and now it's really rare, so I've been seeing it go online for, like, 40 bucks each, and I'm like, I'm not spending 40 bucks on that, uh, but yeah, I managed to find it for, like, four bucks. Um... Okay, something else came in the mail. I look like crap now because it's been raining. Um, and I got caught out in the rain. Ugh. Um, okay, I've been waiting for this for a while. I've been wanting this for a while. It is, uh, I already know what it is. It is the three disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack of, um, Blood Rage. Um, 
It says it's region zero, but I've heard some people have had some issues with it. Uh, hopefully I don't, <laughs> because I cannot afford a region free Blu-ray player at the moment. Um, but hopefully the everything plays. Uh, this is only my second Aero video release. And ooh, I like that. There's two different covers. And I saw images of something, and indeed I am right. I like this cover more, so I'm gonna probably flip it, and yeah. I love reversible sleeves. Get that situated. Okay. Okay. Much better. Because I, I love this cover. I love this cover. But I don't really care for the one of the guy with the machete. It kind of looks a little bit cheesy. Oh, there's also this, which has a bunch of the Arrow releases. I wonder if the Mutilator is on here. Because I know, yep, there it is. Um, I plan on getting that soon. And then there's something about Sheba Baby. I love that movie. And it also comes with a booklet, probably like 20 pages or so. Um, there's some stills, some artwork, like a little written essay thing called Thanks B to Blood Rage by Joseph A. Ziemba. And then there's something about the restoration. So that, that's nice. And there's one, two, three discs. And what I really like, I like that each disc is at least a little bit different. There's that, and then these two. Nightmare at Shadow Woods is one of the um, alternate titles. Um, by the, the, the official title is Blood Rage. Uh, Nightmare at Shadow Woods is the title of an alternate cut of the movie, which I have not seen. I've only seen, um, I think I've, yeah, I've just seen the theatrical cut of it. I have not seen the theatrical recut or the composite cut. And the run times are apparently a little bit different, but not massively different. I guess there's just alternate scenes, alternate shots, things like that. Nothing too major, but still really cool. And I'm definitely going to be watching all three versions. Probably not back to back. Like, I'll probably watch one tonight, and then, you know, one sometime in the summer, and then the third one around Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Um... Those are the things that I've gotten in the mail recently. Pretty good stuff. Not counting the, you know, the subscription boxes. And I still need to open my Bobos. My Bobos came yesterday. And I'm really, really excited about that. Thank you again, Mander McFlander, for kind of, you know, through your videos, pointing me in the direction of Bobos. Because I've watched all of your Bobos videos and all of them, like all 10 of them that I've seen so far are awesome. Of course, mine are going to be a bit different. Mine, for now, I just got <coughs> a bunch of horror stuff. And I think, you know, I also listed and checked off Supernatural and Harry Potter. So I'm hoping I get some Supernatural and Harry Potter things in it. But I probably won't be opening it again. I mean, again. What? Huh. I probably won't be opening it until Robbie's here again. But that's fine, because we might just do a massive unboxing video. Well, we'll split it, but the Bobos is here. I just got a confirmation that my Vinyl Palooza from Nerdblock is on the way, and I'm really excited about that. I'm sure that at least, like, two of the Funkos won't be things I'm all that interested in, but that doesn't really matter to me too much because I just want to collect as, like, I, I just want to have as many of those things as possible because they're adorable and because they all look really nice. Even the ones for shows and movies and video games and things that I don't care for that much. Some of the Funkos are still really cool. So I'm 
pretty sure I'm going to be satisfied with that anyway. Like, no matter what, I'm going to be satisfied with the Vinyl Palooza. Unless I get four figures that I already have. Like, if I get the Dracula one, I already have two of the Dracula ones through two different subscription boxes. So if I get another Dracula one, I'm going to scream. Um... You know, I, so I hope I don't get Dracula. I don't want to get Maggie from The Walking Dead. I don't want to get Hannibal Lecter. I don't want to get Will Graham. I don't want to get Cthulhu. I don't want to get Leatherface. And then there's, like, several other ones I have. But odds are that, at most, I'll get one duplicate, and I can live with one duplicate. I'll just give it to someone for Christmas or do some kind of trade or something. Um, but, yeah, I have the Vinyl Palooza. I have my Bobos sitting right behind the laptop. I have uh, the Horror Block, the Horror Grab Box, which is just a $10 add-on that has like three or four random goodies in it. I'm kind of hoping that that thing has the Vampire Slap Watch. I keep seeing people selling those on eBay, but I don't want to spend like eight bucks on it, which is, you know, a bit, a bit pricey for a slap watch. Um, so, so hopefully... I get that in my horror grab box. But once again, I'm pretty sure I'll be satisfied with that. I mean, yeah, I'll probably get some duplicates because I've been subscribed to Horror Block for over a year now. But I don't mind because it was just a $10 add-on and I could, once again, always use that sort of thing as stocking stuffers or whatever. But, uh, yeah. I also have my Z-Chest. And... I think that's it. Z chest, Bobos, Horror Block, Horror Grab Box, and Vinyl Palooza. So yeah, I have five things that I'll be opening up and everything in the next week or so, hopefully. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.